Greetings all, just going to do a quick pattern, kind of give you a preview as to what Boeing Sky Pilot is going to look forward to tomorrow. We're sitting on 16 right at Payne Field in Seattle. And we're just going to do a quick pattern. Don't want any surprises. No, I don't want to add FaceTime. No, I don't care that my Apple ID is being used for Facebook. Okay. Waiting for this to connect. And it appears to be struggling a little bit. Let me see if I can help it out. Whoa, don't drop the keyboard. All right, let's see. Why is that blinking? I imagine it's because the server is not... Oh, it is connected. Oh, it served up a different port. Set manually. I think I have to disconnect. Stop server. I don't know why that... does this. Let's try this again. Save. And let's start the server again. Waiting for the connection. Connected to... There we go. Now we got a green light. Alright. So I'll be using this application remote flight tomorrow with Boeing SkyPilot. just to help him out and then I will depart the cabin and he will conduct his solo flight and here we go get those throttles up there Still have a hard time tracking the center line in this. It's a little squirrely on the rudder. There's V1. We will rotate. And we will set our heading bug just so we can track our crosswind leg. throttles back just a little bit. Climb up to 1,600 feet. The airport is 600 feet AGL, so pattern altitude is 1,600. We will try to maintain that. There's our crosswind leg. We'll level our wings. There's 1,600. Try to maintain that. I don't have the autopilot active on this. And we will turn downwind. trying to maintain 1,600 feet here. I have to do this manually. I'm not very good at it, especially in a new aircraft. And there is our downwind. We look out to the right side of the aircraft. I can see the field. I'm gonna leave flaps at approach. Beautiful night. Oh, come on there. 1,600 feet. Get with the program. Want to 
uh, track my turns using the heading bug here. Eliminate any confusion. Throughout the pattern, the heading bug should nail the four quadrants, left, right, and bottom, and top. like we're stabilized. And if I look down, I should see Hat Island. Hat Island is our turn to base. This aircraft is a handful, especially without an autopilot. Unfortunately, I will not have a Garmin 430 uh, for quite a while until Reality XP figures out how to interface to 2020. It's been a couple years, they should really get on the ball because I really do love that 430. All right, let's see if I can dip away. Oh yeah, coming up on Hat Island. Our turn to base is going to be pretty brief. We'll turn to base and we'll do that now. Pull the throttles back just a little bit more. Nice coordinated 30 degree bank. Just to add that to the mix. And we will level out. leveled out a little too early and there's the airport right there off to my right at about 2 30 3 o'clock and here goes our turn to final god this is a beautiful simulator so much better than when it first came out that's for sure I imagine a couple more years under the belt and she will be absolutely flawless. Yeah, a little rusty on my turn to final here. Kind of overshot the center line, but we'll pick it up here real right quick. And once again, for the viewing audience, this is the circuit that Boeing Sky Pilot will fly tomorrow to get checked out in the King Air. We're retiring the Beach 1900. We had a few rough landings in that, so we've got to retire the airframe, unfortunately. You really can't see it on the stream, but I've got both engines in plain sight. It is absolutely gorgeous to look out there and see those things spinning. Unfortunately, I still have yet to figure out how to get rid of the windshield wipers. I got rid of the cockpit. I can't get rid of the windshield wipers, and I don't know how. Yeah, there I am. Cruise missile approach. All right, we'll throttle back here. Full flaps. Don't want to let it get below 120. A lot more difficult to land this King Air than it was the 1900. A little bit of a crosswind from the right, three knots. Shouldn't really be a factor, but it kind of is. Pull the throttles back a little more. Yeah, that three knot crosswind is really pushing us. And kill the 
throttles. Well, there's a balloon, didn't want that. There we go. And I, I have not programmed in the reverse thrust yet. Manual braking. The brakes are super grabby on this aircraft. This is the Black Square King Air whoa, uh, modification for the default King Air in 2020. Still a few quirks that need, that need to be worked out, but overall this thing is amazing and a joy to fly. Is that a follow, follow me car? I, whoa, there's a couple cars out here. What's going on, gents? I'm going to avoid you because I don't know what you're doing out here on the taxiway. What's going on up here? I'm just going to go through you boys. Don't know what you're doing. Don't know, don't care. The other nice thing about this King Air is it doesn't taxi like a bat out of hell like the Airfoil Labs model does. That thing was a piece of work. And, oh, hello. What's interesting about the Airfoil Labs is they they sell it as a study level aircraft and I don't know I it's a study level is a, a marketing gimmick as far as I'm concerned we're gonna saddle up right here right next to this little outhouse There we go. Set the parking brake. Unfortunately, can't kill the engines because I don't have those programmed yet. But we're getting there. Slow but sure. Thanks for joining, everybody. Stay tuned and hope you tune in tomorrow for Boeing Sky Pilots Check Ride in the King Air 350i. Take care, everyone.